Hello everyone. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to use the software Wavenology to do some advanced mesh controls. So basically, what I'm going to show you is in the design dialog, mesh tab, and the two parameters here. One is called min max retro, the other is called max adjacent retro. These two parameters are the um, critical parameters for you to capture some details and control your mesh. I will show you um, how to use them and adjust them to different scenarios. So basically a um, very typical example here will be a silicon chip and you have metal lines and grounds and it's wrapped with a high silicon which is also a conductor and between the two uh, conductors there is a insulator which is represented here as the purple material which is the uh, silicon O2 is a dielectric okay and if you want to check the material type it will be a dielectric with permittivity relative permittivity 4.43 so these very thin layers are insulating the two met, uh, conductors okay to show you some more details of this problem, I can uh, turn turn off the visibility of the insulator and the high silicon. So you can take a look. There are basically very simple uh, signal line from top to bottom, from bottom to top again, and the ground plane is connected between different uh, all kinds of vias from top to bottom. Okay, and the uh, high silicon is wrapping it, the insulator is isolating the two. Okay, that's basically the structure. So the challenge here is if you take a look at this angle, you will recognize that the layer is very very thin, both the metal layer and the insulator. Okay, this is along the Z direction, even along the XY direction, that's from the top view, if I turn off the visibility of the signal and ground, you can see this is insulator. If I change the transparency of the insulator, you're able to um, recognize that even along x, y directions, you still have a very thin insulator layer over there. So this is actually very important for you to control the mesh to capture all these thin details. Otherwise your problem is, is modeled incorrectly because you don't care about these uh, details. So how to do that? Let me show you um, how to use these two parameters I mentioned before to control the mesh. Okay. So let me explain the definition of these parameters. The min-max ratio, that means in the entire problem domain, what is the ratio of your minimum cell size and a maximum cell size? The larger this number, that means you don't care much about the details. Those tiny and small cells will be removed from the mesh. The smaller this number, that means you care about these details. You want to capture all kinds of tiny things, critical things. So in this case, for uh, for example, let, let us first set it to e to the minus three, which is sometimes is you know it's already large. Apply to it, and this uh, max adjacent ratio is simply using to control um, the differences between the neighboring cells. For example, if your one of your cell is one millimeter, the adjacent cell to it. Is, can, can no longer be larger than 1.1 times compared to, to, to the one millimeter cells, cell. Okay, So that is the parameter used to control how smooth you want to change your cell size. Okay, Of course, you can uh, use your menu uh, definition to define your mesh to be extremely fine and uh, the cell size will be canonical everywhere in, in the domain. But in that case, it will be a huge waste of your compu computing resources. It will get the same accuracy using a lot of memory. Okay, so this one is definitely suggested because it automatically 
detect uh, the features in on the geometry. So let's take a look of uh, if I set it this number to be uh, e uh, one e to the minus three. Let's see what will happen. So along this button will show you the mesh and from the top view and you can see that okay the mesh that the hole is captured but the thin layers are not okay because the ratio is too high so but along fortunately along Z direction you can see that um, the detail is captured okay with all kinds of cells so let's make this value smaller like e to the minus 4 10 times smaller and apply again and now you can see the mesh is quite different than before because that that parameter you set and from here you can realize that the thin insulators have at least two cells available to model all of them and everywhere else is about the same okay this will guarantee that insulator is captured and being modeled through the FDTD simulation and guarantee that you will get a correct result so the last thing I want to show you is the um, adjacent ratio let's take a look how that thing impacts uh, the mesh if I change this to be very big 1.5 and I apply and you can start to see that the cell even though tiny cells are still captured but the adjacent ratio is much larger and the cells will get much much larger okay but of course in doing this you sacrifice some accuracy of your simulation uh, the smoother of the cells actually the the better of your solution so 1.1 smoother okay so that's all about the how to use this advanced two parameters to control your mesh and capturing some of your uh, details of your problem. Alright, thank you very much.